This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update on this 27th day, Monday, the last week of the month of March. We're looking at the Dow 226 to 32,463. That rally that we saw at the end of Friday, uh, going into kind of the afternoon, then building into the into the close. <clears throat> That was a little mini Chapman Wave Roman candle, a decent close above Friday's high is really important. That'll be a really good sign to say, you know what, we can work our way this week towards the 32,900s. Wow, that's 700 points from here, or six, 700 points. But it looks like as a possibility looking at the S&P, just kind of relief um, bounce, 24.82. Um, at 39.95, up 0.62 percent, right in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. But the day is young, but we are seeing the nine period moving average for the first time in about a month crossing positive. Let's see if it holds into the close. That's going to be a big deal. QQQ, the index 100, uh, up $1.31 at 312.20. Now, this is going to be really important because. After the peak G, there's never an H, and that's the uh, notation at 313.38 at uh, the beginning of February. Then we pull back sharply to 285. If there is a close, it doesn't have to be a close, a price move above 315.25 uh, this week, that'll start at leg C. <clears throat> that's really good for the daily and the weekly charts. Looking at the IWM, it's a little different, being very weak, but it is good today. It's up $1.58, $173.37. Here's the issue. Gold is pulling back sharply. Does that mean that the whole financial issue, you know, I always think of the, of, uh, the as gold as being the go-to place for a financial crisis. Well, does it say that there's some amelioration of that tension? I think it does say that it's being attempted. Sharp move down, down 36 at 19.48. But you aren't seeing the reciprocal move up in the dollar dollars down 18 ticks at 102.95 and that's the reason why i think this is partly the financials looking at crude oil crude oil is up a little bit it's up a dollar 32 and the tlt bonds bonds are up uh, no they're down sharply down dollar 60. we'll be back for the tiger technicians hour and check out for opening